videotaping. Oh, oh, why can't I never have that go right? You ready, spaghetti? Okay, I was talking to Chad, but you too. There we are. So, topic that there is no topic. <laughs> we'll just bullshit and we'll talk about random stuff. As we are good at doing, Yeah, oh God, that was loud. <laughs> was Dotson on here last? Dear Lord. Okay. I almost went out and left the mic off, so. <laughs> I can really hear yours. Is this, is this loud still? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Test one, two, three, four. All right. Hello, hello, my friends. You are listening to the Bad Blonde Radio Show on News Talk KEYS, 1440 AM, 98.7 FM, brought to you by Competition Sounds. Thanks, Competition Sounds. And today is a very good day. Chad, why is it a good day for you? Every day. No day pressure. <laughs> you can tell, I can tell by the look on his face. That he had absolutely no answer for me. I didn't on that. know you were going to ask me that question. Are you kidding me? I ask you that question every time. I, I literally, never, like, I, this is our thing. I always I say that it's a good day. It, you really should just think about while you're driving here, late, rushing, speeding to get here barely on time, you should probably be figuring out what you want to say when I ask you why it's a good day. This is true, but I'd rather not do that. I think about other things when I'm driving over here. I don't, basically. <laughs> I, don't. <laughs> well, I think the COVID numbers are dropping everywhere, so that's pretty good. That's a good day, man. A, a spring break uh, oh, God. spike. But... Are we in spring break right now? Yeah, I think we are currently. You know how I know if we're in spring break if we have a cold front and I see fog <laughs> and yeah. it's unpleasant. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's how you used to know a spring break yeah. when you were in high school or college. Or oh, whatever. man. I feel like literally every spring break was just cold. It, but you wanted to wear a swimsuit anyway, so you were wearing like, you know, like a, a hoodie and your swimsuit, trying to enjoy the beach somehow. Um, I always did. <laughs> I, I found a way. I would just be collecting them beads. Yeah, would. you would. <laughs> Are you going to ask me why it's a good day? Oh, yeah, I was about to. Well, because we're just about a month away from the Corpus Christi Car Show. What, what? I'm very excited about this. I am very excited about this. So the Corpus Christi Car Show, custom car, truck, motorcycle show, brought to you by Hot C95, Rock 92.7, or is it Dash 7? How are we saying it? For Doug? Point so. Okay, 92.7. And 1440 Keys. And this car show is going to be at the American Bank Center. It's going to be both exhibit halls, which that's going to be big. I know from experience, you can fit 200 cars in there. Yeah. It's, it's going to be epic. It's going to be so big. I'm so excited about it. And the event is the perfect place to show off your custom car, your classic car, your brass era car, your Jeep off-roader, your motorcycle, your chopper, your anything. Like, rules are, there are no rules. But that would be a rule. And it's going to have, like, there. we've got a lot of categories already. We've got 15 categories. How about that, sports fan? Are that you... sounds good. It looks like uh, the first 100 cars to register get a free Corpus Christi uh, car show t-shirt. <gasps> I want a t-shirt. But to... Uh... What if I'm, what if I uh, am a radio show host? 
for fourteen forty piece, do I do I automatically get a T-shirt? Uh, Doug's about to answer. That's right. But it says they also you must register by April twelfth. Oh my so God, that's see, around the corner. Uh, the complimentary T-shirt. Oh, okay, all right, okay, if I you're like a that. Complimentary entry. You will not receive a T-shirt though. So. So all my friends that I'm gonna hand out comp entries I, to are, are gonna get a T-shirt. Darn it! All right. Um, so I see vehicle registration fee is like thirty bucks uh, if you register before April the 23rd, which frankly seems pretty fair because it, it the event's on the 24th. So I like that it's your, your, your registration is only late if it's the day of. <laughs> I just feel like, well, I've, I've thrown events at the American Bank Center and to have folks drive in the day of the event is going to be a little bit hectic, but I guess it'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. So let's see, what else? What else do we got? What are their details? Ooh, I'm gonna read off the categories. How about that sports fan? Okay. We have modern muscle car, classic muscle car, modern truck, classic truck. I'm excited to see some classic trucks. Let's see, I wonder if we can get the C10 truck club out and about. I bet you can get a couple of them at least. Yeah, well, they got a whole club. I It'd think it's nice. going to be a pretty good car show, too. It's going to be pretty big. Yeah, Chad, I hope so, because you're going to be one of the judges, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have, I have been put in charge of deciding the judges. And luckily for me, I mean, like, I grew up around a lot of solid car people, so I know the exact car folks to ask to judge this event. I mean, they got knowledge everywhere. I think I'm also going to be a judge. Maybe. I haven't quite decided. I might just be there running around like a little fairy enjoying my entire day. Who knows? All right, back to the categories. Classic truck, classic car, import, muscle, motorcycle, four by four, donk? What is donk? I'm not sure. But... What the heck is donk? All right, we need to get Rodney Brown calling in on the phone for what is donk. Rodney is in charge of uh, all of the radio. He should know. Street rod, and then we have special award categories. Best of show, best paint, best interior, best engine, best mural, most, most, well, I... Well, oh, Molly, that's a lot to judge. Uh, yeah, you better, uh, no pressure, Chad. No pressure. Lots yeah. of pressure. Sounds like a fair well, amount yeah, of pressure. Yeah, well, like literally lots of pressure. I'm so excited. Like, this is a big car event. And I feel like we haven't had, like, a, like, a last big car event was, was not as enjoyable for me. <laughs> it was our auction. <laughs> I didn't want to sell anything because that's not what I like to do. Are you going to put your MGB in there, Chad? I you don't can't. Know. I don't. Well, you can put it in for fun, but it by no means can count for judging since you're a judge. Uh, it's a I mean, it's a nice car. I don't know if it's, uh, but I, I, that shouldn't stop anybody from wanting to put a car in a in a car show. No, it's more. I mean, people. I like. Uh, the, all, I'm all, all about the variety, people, and I like. I like cars that are original and really haven't had anything. I think that that gives it a lot of character and is cool. So yeah, maybe we I will put it in. I mean, it, like I said, it's not a con concourse. No. Restored at all. But yes. But it is pretty nice, and and people people like them. I got two votes at a, the Noises Brewery's car show. So that was a fun car show. That was my. Nice. That was, was fun. a fun show before we had the car show. <laughs> we had Josh from Noises Brewery. Talked all about the upcoming event. They uh, they know how to put on a fun car show. That was a good time. That was uh, and it was an eclectic mix. I tell you what, we have everyone from the uh, McLaren to the new Corvette to um, a couple of Rat Reds. We had um, a really good showing from the VW Club, which I need to get a hold of them and have one of them on the show prior to our car show because I know that they're going to make it. They're going to. I think as a club, they're, I think we've already contacted them that they're interested in popping in. Hope so. Hope so, indeed. But they had a really good showing. Like, I was impressed. Yeah, were you able to get in touch with some of them so they can get, come on and I, do it? I did not text message. The Kale gave me some contact information. Did not text them, but if they're listening, they better beware. Uh, I will be texting or calling them quite soon. Quite soon. So I'm excited. Man, yeah. that's what? Oh my gosh, we only have like a month. So it's April the 24th. 
at the American Bank Center starting at noon till seven, I think it is. All right, everybody start, start wax on, wax off your precious metal I beauties. Did, uh, I did run into Alyssa Pereira and uh, Mike Plesley walking around downtown. Oh, good! Uh, the other day and I, I told uh, Councilman Pusley. Oh, he needs to put a ship bell in! Yeah, to put it in. So hopefully we'll see him out there in his car. Oh my God, he totally needs to do that. His story about that was pretty awesome. I mean, that talk about patience. He waited, what, was it four years of, stu of, of research and waiting for the right Chevelle to come along? Yeah, perseverance. I don't have that kind of patience. So I told him, hopefully we'll, we'll see him out there. Yeah, I'm going to message him too. Make sure, yeah. make, sure, uh, make sure he pops in. Indeed. All right. Well, I feel like I've talked enough about the car show because trust me, guys, we are going to be talking about this a lot on the shows up to date. If you have any recommendations on maybe a category or somebody I should reach out, like a local car club, go ahead and text us at 882-5397. And once again, I am always proud when I get our phone number correct. It's harder than it, it's harder to get the number right than you think. I don't. You know, oh, oh, I'll, I'll be in charge. Oh, of Chad, it. you never say the number. That's probably why. What is it? Okay, you're no, you're officially in charge of saying the phone number. I don't because know what it is. That was so funny. You're like, oh, it's not that hard because you never said it yet before. I don't know what it is. So also speaking of car shows. I just bought my plane, like last week, I bought my plane ticket to California to the Monterey Car Week that takes place every August, and I cannot wait. Going to go to the Quail, going to go to the McCall's Motor Works party at the Monterey Jet Center, going to go to Pebble Beach, going to pop into Concorso uh, Italiano. What else? Oh, there's also like a small, uh, <laughs> what is the name of it? is lost to me right now but it's down it's in like the main street in downtown monterey and it's like the small cars concourse but it's not it's like it's like a joke it's like or it's not a joke but it's um it's just like fun small cars little mgs little um what else did i see i think i saw like an austin morris i saw a morris minor i saw like a lot of cool little things um but it's just like a fun thing they don't they don't like take it seriously it's not not a concours event. That's so that hyper is, fancy. That whole week is amazing. Yeah. Automobile lovers. It's, like, it's my, I love it. Like it's my favorite week of the year. I, probably, I think it's probably one of the premier yeah. automotive gatherings in the world. Yeah. And uh, when we went there, the, I mean, the scenery. Oh my gosh. Uh, besides the vehicles. Besides the cars. Everything was, was beautiful, amazing. On uh, these awesome golf courses or Pebble Beach, of course, is on. Yeah. Pebble Beach yeah. Golf Course right on the every, water. Every time I'm on the, I'm in those places, I'm like, do these rich people know I'm here? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, and there, there's a lot of rich people there, too. Uh, there's a ton of them. The nice thing is, is since I have a website, thebadblonde.com, I get to apply for media credentials, which means I get into these places that I used to pay a pretty fair sum of money for free. And actually, most importantly, I get to get in, like, since with media, I get to get in, like, an hour or two prior to anybody else. So I can just, like, walk around, take a look, enjoy myself before the throngs of, of, uh, of fellow enthusiasts. It feels like I'm cheating, but I'm pretty lucky on that. Yeah, that's good. Especially you get in before the cigar smoking owners. Yeah. In their weird suits. Yeah. I wanted, oh, hey. Oh, do you want me to take a photo by my car? <laughs> Anyways, Doug is giving me the signal to wrap it up. We are going to take a very small break. Please stay tuned to listening to the Bad Blonde Radio Show. Yeah, I heard you uh, on the I heard you on the donks, Doug. But... That's so just weird. a car with big wheels. Okay. I, di I didn't... I didn't hear the donk explanation earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good I call, because I, I would have been thrown off. I think there were certain <laughs> categories Caitlin may not have promoted as much as others. I didn't. Well, Rodney doesn't want it to be known as the low rider, so I didn't say any low riders. Well, they need to take it off. It's like when I find this event low riders are the first listed and they need to take that off probably yeah that's why then 
Move it to the end, yeah. Because yeah, I literally had to scan through like seven of them. Chad, what should we talk about next? Oh, I'm going to talk about my cat getting fixed. <laughs> Born ready. Hello, hello, my friends. You are back listening to the Bad Blonde Radio Show on News Talk KEUIS, 1440 AM, 98.7 FM, Corpus Christi, Texas. And we are brought to you by Competition Sounds. Thanks, Competition Sounds. We appreciate it. <laughs> Chad and I just finished up talking all about the Corpus Christi Car Show, which is going to go on April the 24th. And I can't wait because... He's going to be a judge. I'm probably going to be a judge. And I am so excited. we got like a galore of categories. So whatever car you have that you are proud of, you should put it in for the show April the 24th at the American Bank Center. Chad, uh, I got pretty big news. Oh, yeah, please tell. Yeah. Do. I, uh, I got my cat Renzo fixed today. He is officially allowed to go out and hang out. Be on the town without quite being on the prowl. Now he can hit the high notes. <laughs> yeah. He's a castrado. <laughs> Literally, that's uh, somebody made, else made that joke, and I don't know if it was the vet or Doug, but somebody made a joke about hitting the high notes today. <gasps> you but, know that they used to do that. Oh, that yeah, no, exactly. That's in, in, in Asia. Europe. No, in Europe. In, oh, in opera as well. In like, Europe, in, in early Italian opera. Well, I think it was more. Uh, even the, earlier than that? Through the churches and stuff where they would have. Yeah. Have That's people, pretty. They would have these kids who grew up and I was like, they're like, you're going to be a singer. That's your job. Yeah. So when you were three or four, they already chose you to sing. I don't know if whatever, but I always had like a joke when everybody showed up to the the school, the singing school or whatever, that everybody went in with like a real deep voice. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> we had like kind of a high pitched voice. We're like, oh, you're a castrato. I'm like, oh, cool. What's that? And they're like. We'll show you. Oh, no! Yeah. And then it is castrato, which is quite similar to castration. And exactly. uh, didn't think I'd ever say that word on the, an automotive radio channel. Like, radio state. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we're going to... Well, I don't want to quite stop talking about my cat <laughs> yet, though. <laughs> so, I don't know why Renzo's fine, but I just figured I'd start talking about his namesake. Now, who Renzo is named after is Renzo Rovolta, the man behind Iso Ativelli Spa, okay? Now, before it was Iso Ativelli Spa, it was actually Iso Thermos. And Renzo Rovolta had um, a company that did refrigeration units. You kind of maybe, some of you might have guessed that when I said thermos. A little insight right there. So, they were making... <laughs> They were making refrigeration units, and then, do you know where I'm going with this, Chad? Yeah, I said it. Yes! That's exactly where I'm going. Okay, I'm going to go back to the point. I just wanted to make sure Chad was paying attention to me instead of looking at his computer screen. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, so Renzo Revolta, you know, like, before the war, they start, is before World War II, they start, um, they were making refrigeration units after the war, World War II, um, he creates this tiny, precious, very, very, uh, what would we say? Uh, a rolling miniature refrigerator. Yes. That is actually, that is exactly what it looks like. That is a hundred percent what it looks like. You open the, the, how you enter the car is the same as if you were entering into an old school refrigerator. You pull the turn handle, it opens up like a door and you go and sit in it. Like it hundred percent looks like that. It does. So anyways, he comes up with this design, all right? He comes up with a design for this tiny bubble car, one of the early bubble cars. And he he's super clever because he licenses this out. He licenses this out to eight countries. And I used to be able to name them all off, like UK, UK Germany, uh, Brazil, Argentina. And there's another one I can't remember. I feel like it's... Oh, it's going to bug me. There's... Okay. There's another one. But anyways, doesn't matter. I'm going to move on. So anyways, he's smart. So he, he licenses this out. And this is very clever because back then, right after World War II, um, well, there wasn't a lot of money. 
and a lot of in, in a lot of Europe, a lot of Europe was poor at the time. But they needed ways to get around. And also, you know what costs money is getting an actual car license. But you could get a motorcycle license for much cheaper. And now the way that the Isetta was designed, which it stands for little Isetta stands for little ISO, made from you know ISO at Spa. So the 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 I the why this was so attractive to all these car manufacturers that purchased the licensing for you know of the designs was because it had a motorcycle engine in there. It had what a one cylinder engine that was probably like I think it was twelve and a half, like the first the Isetta two hundred and fifty was maybe I feel like it was twelve horsepower, and then when they did the Isetta three hundred was twelve and a half horsepower, maybe thirteen horsepower. Yeah, they bumped it up like a whole <laughs> horsepower, <laughs> a whole half horsepower. These cars were small. You didn't need. No, you didn't. If you were going. If you were going 50 miles an hour, you, you were in you peril. Had a, you had a nice tailwind, and, <laughs> and yeah, you were probably a little bit scared. Yeah, you were in peril. You may not have been in full control of the vehicle. You probably had a, a four-foot wheelbase. Yeah, and you, you know, a lot of people also mistake it for being a uh, a tri a tri. Well, they did do some three wheel. Barely. Uh, but guys, it was a, a four wheel. But just your your back wheels were close together, giving the appearance. They were appearance. About Probably a foot or less apart. Yeah. And then your front wheels were probably four feet apart. And then they were both were probably four feet <laughs> in length away from each other. So it was a small wheelbase. It was so small. <laughs> but if you rolled it over, you would just flip it back over. Yeah, you, you can do that with your own little feet. Yeah. So yeah, I said that you enter through the front door. But let's say if you're an accident and that door is... Well, if you're in an accident, you're probably in a lot. Your concern you're is probably, probably in the other vehicle. That <laughs> oh. <laughs> they didn't yeah. have seatbelts either, and there wasn't much separate. You were the bumper, basically. Yeah, no, like there's not. Yes, no, it, it's like a little riding around in a literal bubble of of metal that can easily cave in. But uh, let's say you don't end up in the other car. Your only other exit, if that door, the front door is is. I don't know. Uh, would you... Hopefully, if it has some have sunroofs. I yeah, I was gonna say. Well, I I thought the majority of them have sunroofs. I don't know. Well, you gotta pop out the sunroof if you can. Elsewise, you gotta wait for somebody to pry you open, hoping that the car is not on fire. Anyway, so basically, this car can at times be like a rolling death chamber, a very cute, cute rolling death chamber. They were super precious. So. One of the main, one of the big automotive manufacturers that purchased this licensing was BMW. Thus, the BMW Isetta, which some of you might, if you don't know what car we're talking about off the top of your head, well, this car was famous in, okay. in a recent modern family television. I, I say recent. Yeah. When was Urkel's, it? Urkel's Cruiser. Anyway, so actually all Isettas did have canvas sunroofs. And that was done for Safety. egress. Oh God! In the case of an accident, because you couldn't get out of no. the other door. You probably won't get out either. In general, if you're an accident, you would probably be moved. Yeah. You yeah. Moved. You'd be in. unless you ran into another I said, and then it would just be cute, and you just bounce right off of each other. <laughs> so, anyways, if you're trying to picture what this car looks like, this was in fact the vehicle of choice by Urkel. And Urkel was it Family Matters? Was it Family Time? What was the name of the show he was on? I think it was Family Matters, yeah. Okay. I look over and see if Doug has an answer for that, maybe. <laughs> so anyways, this this car was, you know, that's how I, when I talk about this car, or when I see this car, or when I make a video on this car and put it on the bad ball on YouTube, most people will comment, oh, that's Urkel's car. And they're right. I don't know if Urkel actually owned it. No. I think it was just used for the show. Yes, 100%. Well, also Urkel's, that's, the, yeah. But anyways, so BMW took the Isetta and they ran with it. Basically, they made it so much their own that you really couldn't even change, interchange parts between like the, like, you know, the Isetta from Iso Spa and the BMW Isetta. Like they really just altered that so significantly that you could not interchange them. And they also added those cute little side headlights that, you know, make it look like a precious bug. Yeah, you got a C. Yeah, you got a C. Flair's got a C. 
You gotta and he's be cruising <laughs> around in his ice setter. Those are one of those cars that also you get the most, like you can pull, somebody can pull up in their brand new Porsche or their new Corvette or their McLaren, but you know who's going to get all the questions? The, yeah. guy, the guy pulling up in the BMW I bet ice setter. And I said I would have, could have taken that car show. Yes. Or a Messerschmitt. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, the Messerschmitt. They're just cool. I love, okay, the measure spent another favor. Anyways, so that is why my cat is named Renzo, after Renzo Revolta. Now, he also did... That was a long loop back. Well, that's why, I mean, like, I felt like it was pertinent. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's doing felt, he's doing fine, guys. Although the nurse, or the vet tech, I'm not sure what the... The lovely ladies at Everhart Animal Hospital did say, boy, your cat gives me looks. I was like, yeah. Well, he's he had just a, cut off his balls. I, he did get his little tallywhackers knocked. <laughs> That'll get you a mean look. All, it, everywhere you go, from, from pretty much any <laughs> any uh, species. Oh, poor Renzo, poor Renzo. But anyways, I'm not quite done with that topic because uh, Renzo Revolta also was behind the ESO Griffo and the ESO. There was an ESO Revolta <laughs> too, um, and those were cars that did pretty. Pretty darn well. That's okay. Yeah. No, I mean, those are pretty sports cars. Um, I saw, last time I saw one in person, I think I was at the Amelia Island Concourse. Always the Revolta always sound, sounded revolting to me. It was like a. I know. Or that popped in my head when I was here. Revolta. Revolta. I uh, see. I guess what we have that? different ideas of that because, like, to me, I'm like, I don't know. For some reason, I think of a Volt of Lightning, but um, yeah, I don't know. I like it. I think Revolta's. I guess to each their own on, on where where a word uh, and its pronunciation might take you. Oh, you but, want to know why my dog is named Jeezy? Is is it car related, Chad? Um, no. Well, well tell it to me because Doug gave uh, me the sign to wrap up. So let's hear why Jeezy is named Jeezy. Uh, I don't think he built a car or anything, but it was a, there's a rapper called Young Jeezy, <laughs> and I have no idea what songs he plays or anything. But you just named him I just that? thought his name was funny. Jeezy is a fun name to say out loud. All right, Doug is giving me the sign to wrap up. All right, guys, please stay tuned. Listening to the Bad Blonde Radio Show. We'll be right back after the break. What do you want to talk about next? Mm. My dog. Do you have anything else? Because I... Uh, let's think. What are you, we'll talk about what you're working on, Sean. All right, all right, my friends. You are back listening to the Bad Blonde Radio Show on News Talk KEYS, 1440 AM and 98.7 FM, Corpus Christi, Texas, brought to you by Competition Sounds. And thanks a lot, Competition Sounds. So I also think Competition Sounds is one of our sponsors for the upcoming Corpus Christi Car Show. Sweet. Did you, I know. Thank you. Did you know that, Chad? So the car show is going on on April the 24th. That is a Saturday. Man, that's going to be a darn good day. I cannot wait. It's going to be at the American Bank Center in the exhibit hall. It's both exhibit halls, guys. And if you've ever been to both exhibit halls, like when they were combined, A and B, it is a mighty big affair. Like it's a big. It is big. What is, what is it to get in? Because they also have free beer and pretzels. What? what? No, I'm, not, I'm kidding. Oh, my God. I just, <laughs> <laughs> you just, I just got excited about that. trying to get that. some turn <laughs> Uh, no, we have no free beer and uh, It's too late. Uh, we're going to have people showing up in droves, angry that there's not. So I think it might, there's, I think it, is it free to get in? I know we're giving away a ton of entrance stuff. $5 admission. De- Doug, did you say that on air or just in my ears? Uh- <laughs> okay. Oh, that's funny. All right, so it starts at 12 p.m., It's noon to 5 p.m. Saturday, April 24th. I can't wait. So if you want to show your precious pieces of piece of metal or pieces of metal at the show, uh, you you kind of want to try and register um, your view. Yeah, your view early is better, but April the 23rd at noon 
for only 30 bucks. And if you do it after that, it's $50 cash at the event, which I'm sure Rodney's just going to put that right in his pocket. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, register early. It'll make it a, uh, probably get a cooler spot or something oh. else. So. Yeah, it's, it's all about the spot. Uh, maybe. But, uh, and he said for the general public to get in. Yeah, well, five dollars. So it's only five bucks, and it's a what's nice family is, friendly and a good time. Oh, it's family friendly, and this is a, that that your entrance, your um, the money is going towards kids bikes. What's our bikes for kids? Which is a is a thing that uh, fourteen forty keys ninety two point seven and Hot Z ninety five do every year, right, Doug? Do that. Are you talking on the radio? Or are you talking to my ears? Get on the radio, buddy. Look, <laughs> oh, heck yeah. COVID really, I mean, Yay, I'm excited. I mean, you can't beat that. We're gonna have a great car show. Lots of categories. I listed them off earlier, but you can also find them online, I'm sure, on the 1440keys.com website. But it's gonna be a darn good time. Like Chad said, free beer and pretzels. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember going to the car shows there. Oh, yeah. Um, back when before it was American Bank, whatever. You know what's also nice is it's air-conditioned. It is, and uh, it was always a great time at night. I, I think... No, there won't be probably free beer or. Yeah, we were we were pretzels. joking about that, but, but there will I be concessions, bet you there right? There will be funnel cake. Oh my god, I hope so. Which for <laughs> some reason goes well with car shows. And beer, yeah. And beer, good, good all well of it. With funnel cake. If anybody wants to, if you're participating, send us a, a text at eight eight two fifty three ninety seven. Tell us what car you're putting in there. I'm excited. I have it. Like you know what's nice? The South Texas has a genuine eclectic mix of classic cars running around here um we we should see a nice mix and i uh, i can't wait i cannot wait there's gonna be some awards i'm all about it i'm gonna keep talking about it because i'm that excited but yeah and also register early because it also it says a uh, very limited registration the day of the car show so don't uh i wouldn't plan so much just roll up and don't roll yeah. up I mean, you could try, but no promises. Yeah. What? Why didn't you have that at the very first sentence of what I'm reading off? <laughs> I'm kidding, Doug. I'm kidding. Cocky's chicken waffles. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Where are they? Do, they are we, do we just have them? Hot damn. Clucky's chicken and waffles. Well, I think we all know where I'm going to be. In the corner, eating fried fried chicken. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm known for. So, Chad, what are you working on at the shop? What do you got? Um, Working on a 50. I think we finished off, and it's, it's going to go to back to Germany, actually. A 56 at an hour Mercedes. That's trippy. Which is a weird Mercedes, because it's kind of a... It's Kind of a limo Mercedes. Yeah, and no, I think it is. This it's one was luxurious. Actually made for some German general or something that they used to drive around. Wow. So it made a uh, after World War Two or whatever. We uh, we as an America became <laughs> probably the super wealthy of the world. We did. Uh, where Europe fell down, but uh, apparently that's reversing now. We're doing a good job of helping that go. <laughs> so a lot of cars actually are going are getting, back going to back. Europe. Uh, this one's going to Germany. Um, How interesting. What a story it's had to, you know, come over here from its history of uh, transporting around some German dignitary or a uh, general and uh, been in the States for a long time. And now it's going yeah, back over there. Part of the Ed Hicks collection. Oh, cool. For a while. And, wow. Uh, yeah. We ended up with it and we're fixing it up. What all do you have to do to it? Uh, the brake master cylinder and also the wheel cylinders. It's just old rubber and stuff. Well, oh, that makes sense. All the hydraulic hoses and everything, the, the wheel cylinders all have rubber seals. And if they're, what, mm -hmm. 50, 
three or something, whatever that math is. Seventy years old. Probably got your money on. Well, wait, nineteen fifty-three. Yeah, wouldn't that be like? It's like sixty-seven, I think. I said seventy. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. We, we were, happen to I know, know somebody. Gonna... <laughs> well, I just happen to know somebody born in nineteen fifty-three. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> stuff like that is just uh, old and and some other issues. Well, also just know. like you know, plastics naturally degrade. Like they harden. Yeah, they harden. They're, they're always curing, basically. That's why you find you get a water bottle yeah. that's new and it's all crunchy and stuff and then go let it sit out in the sun when you find, you know, one, two years later and it just crumbles in your hand. That's basically, yeah. every plastic is always trying to dry it, cure itself. Yeah, which, yeah. Uh, and they do over time. You got to deal with it. Unfortunately, with that car, we had to do a lot of, uh, of uh, fabricating. I was about to say, you probably don't have access. And 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 stuff because a lot of those parts are, are uh, whatever the word is. What was my word? Curing? Not existent, but. Oh. What was. Un unobtainium. <laughs> unobtainium. Kind of an unobtainium. That's funny every time for me. I'm going to be honest. And, well, uh, but we got it. So it's going away. I think the transport is coming and we're going to load it up. When? In but Houston or do something. Do I have time to make a drive video on it or. <laughs> Uh, is it yeah. already sold and I can't drive it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You'd have to check with the big man. The big man. The big men. What else are you working on? Uh, I saw that that Silver stuff, XKE but... is no longer in your bay. Oh, it's back. What? Never wants to leave. <laughs> uh, we got it all ready and good and everything. And now uh, um, I think we're going to go through all the suspension that is all worn out, too. Dear so Lord. We got it. Yeah, it was kind of one. It was a struggle. It uh, is the repair that never ends. It's good. It goes on and on, my friends. Yeah, and, and Jaguars. Uh, they're so beautiful, but they are very difficult. They are, and you just got to get all the, the kinks worked out of them. And, yeah. And that'll last for a couple of weeks and enjoy them for when, those couple of weeks. When can you start working on my XK120? Uh, I know that is one we need to try to do, and we will finish your Porsche. Yeah. I need to finish my Porsche. That's kind of what I think I'm going to push on next. Good, as you should. But well, also good working. Uh, that one, yeah, I mean, that's back burner. Unfortunately, shop stuff. Everything's always back burner. I is, feel like uh, there's never enough time to get what all I need. To, I have a, a, I've had a half installed pool table in my house for like, I don't want to say how long. But I just feel like there's too much stuff that pops up. And I just can't even get, you know, anytime I get anything done on my Porsche 912e, I'm like, oh, I feel really good. But it's like two steps forward and then five steps back as a rule. Although the last few times um, we've actually had some success. We started it up. Yeah. A lot thanks to Chad and James and Jay at the shop. And then I changed out. So we were just talking about, uh, you know, plastic deteriorating I changed out a fuel line or two and um now it's time to start running it and then tune it up a bit and then get some get take it on down to our body shop guy redo the you know it hurts a little bit but it, it is fine but I did all of the paint and the body work back when I was 14 six, 15 16 and it looked great but you know just sitting for so long while I went off to college went to UT and then went off and made a paycheck which you got to do once you graduate college, guys, I don't know if you know that. I mean, I was making a paycheck during college working at Hyde Park Bar and Grill. But um, anyways, that paint just sit there and then it develop. it's just, it develops some, some crappy little pieces that probably were impurities that I didn't properly get, take care of at the time that I was doing my body work. I'm like 15 or 16. I was not exactly paying attention to details, but need to take it off, get it to, um, Get it running, take it down to the body shop, get that taken care of, and then put in my my glass. Do do I have one headlight that I need to find some bumperettes? You can make it home in one headlight. <laughs> I can. You're right. Anyways, Doug is giving me the old rapsy doozy signal, and we're gonna take a small break. Y'all stay tuned, listening to the Bad Blonde Radio Show. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Hello, hello, my friends. You are back listening to the Bad Blonde Radio Show on News Talk KEYS, 1440 AM and 98.7 FM. Brought to you by Competition Sounds. Thanks, Competition Sounds. God, I love that intro song. Rolling Stones, Painted Black. Yeah, it's a good song. Anyways, we're doing when we what we ended on was Chad and I were each talking about projects. Now Chad's projects always have to take the back burner because he's got other people's cars to work on. And I think I'm hearing some other radio stuff going on, Doug. I think we're getting some Joe Pags bleed over. Who's Joe Pags? Uh talk radio guy out of San Antonio. I don't know who that is. I think, did he call in? (laughs) Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. (laughs) Uh, Doug, you know what? We could also start that over. I think Doug's trying to figure out where it's coming from. (laughs) Let's just start it over. Yeah, we'll start it over. I don't think he knows what's happening. Now it's off. That was fun, Doug. You're gonna have to edit all that, okay? I'm so sorry. Oh, you're good. Don't worry. Let me move the headphones a second. Is it still coming through? Yeah, Joe Pags is coming in. How the. Is that station coming through when I'm on the air? I don't know, it just started. I know, I just popped in. I'm like, I. That shouldn't even be coming through our audition. Like, this is a separate channel thing. It's like, I don't even know how it's coming through. It's a 